Hello, and thank you so much for joining me here on So Stitch Hacks. I'm Macadamia, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing for a cultish, a cultish emporium. They've been advertised on my Instagram a ridiculous amount, so I did buy one. Um, for some reason, they actually lost my order, so I had to contact them, and they were like, we don't have that order number. I'm like, well, I ordered like four months ago or so. Like, it was a long time. It was a ridiculous amount of time. I don't remember exactly. But I sent them a screenshot and uh, everything. And they were like, oh my god, we have no idea how we missed it. We'll get that out to you right away. So, I finally got it. Of course, my dark spooky self. I ordered the uh, Spirit and Shadow uh, box. I think that's the name of this box. It's Occultism Emporium. You can find them at occultismemporium.com. Hashtag occultis, the occultish, <laughs> and share your magic at occultish on Instagram or slash occultish on Facebook. Occultishemporium.com. And it says over here, as above, so below. As you can tell, the box, the packaging is just absolutely precious. I will be keeping the box. I can't really store ears in here, but I could probably store, like, accessories. I've gotten really into keeping the cute little boxes, like, the with the decorations on them. So, right out the gate. Ta-da! I took all the, like, shipping packaging that covered it, but, like, this is the box. So, whew, okay. Magic awaits you. And this is a beautiful card. We all have magic inside. Welcome to the Occultish Academy for Witches and Magic Folk. Your magical journey is about to begin. Whether you are a new witch or an experienced... Yeah, they meant experienced practitioner. Magic and wonder await what with every breath you take from this moment forward. This kit includes everything you will need to get started on your magical journey. As you explore yourself and the realms beyond, your mind will open to the possibility and wonder that exudes from the earth around us. This is magic. The tools and lessons in this kit will teach you to observe, revere, and control the elements of earth and your soul. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't use the Oxford comma after revere, but it is an honor to meet you on your journey. If you have any questions or are interested in learning more, please visit us on the web. Magic awaits you. Occultishemporium.com Yes, yeah, so they didn't use the Oxford comma like here. And up. this was meant to be experienced. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Um, I got the box involving uh, spirits, which I was hoping will be towards necromancy. Um, because divination with spirits and the work with spirits is my focus is my favorite thing so you know um it includes warm wood and a mugwort two herbs that i know and love although i can't uh drink mugwort tea on my medication just kind of weird and kind of depressing it's like the one thing i really like thanks can uh increase the chance of internal bleeding so but i still use it in witchcraft so like you know not consuming it there is a bath bomb it's a black skull. Pretty sure. Ooh, it smells really good. Maybe there's a paper in here to tell me what everything is. I don't know. Here's a black bag. It's very nice. Black burlap. Oh, that's cool as shit. Oh my god. Okay. Inside, because some of these stones are fragile and they're destroyed, uh, there is a crystal quartz. I know what this one's called. It's that slightly blue one. I have to, hopefully I can find it. There's a tiger's eye. A smoky quartz. And the black one that's broken all over the place. And two bones. I would like to know what these bones are. So I'm really hoping there's going to be a little list inside. But yeah, the black kind of broke inside the bag. Um, that's okay. It happens, it happens. Ooh, a candle. Okay, so a black skull candle. Uh, skull candles can be used a lot of times with, in well, specifically they're used for influencing the 
Specifically, they're used for influencing the mind, but they can also be used in controlling another person. So you can use it to influence your mind. Like say you want to work on getting rid of anxiety or you want to work on uh, more self-love. You could use, you know, a pink candle, a light green candle, a purple candle for healing. But you can also use a can these candles are very common in curse work because you are controlling another individual, whether it be making that bitch fuck off, uh, getting inside their head and causing insecurities. You can use them for all kinds of stuff. And then this, I'm pretty sure, is a crystal. It's got to be a cool tissue sticker. Oh, hello. So it is a crystal ball. My melody, my melody, ask your crystal ball, who's the fairest one of all? Why, my queen, you're very pretty. The fairest one of all is Snow White Kitty. If you didn't know that was one of my favorite movies, I'm sorry, you know now. But yes, a crystal ball. So I can commune with the spirits. You can use this for divination with light, reflecting, like a candle. You can just look into it and you gaze into your eyes become kind of clouded. Like, you know when you phase off and you're staring at something for so long that it blurs? And then you can, like, divine based off what you see there. Or you can actually try and project actual images into it, being spirits or other movements. Uh, however, if you do have one, keep it concealed. You probably best like so traditionally you would keep it concealed under a black uh cloth but specifically you just need to keep it covered or put away out of direct sunlight because if it does see the sunlight um it will magnify it and catch your house on fire and burn everything down <laughs> how's that for magic okay spirit and shadow the shadow is but a reflection of the light. So moot it be, you are magic. And it's this cute little paper, kind of like a monster high journal. Good morning. And it's written like, I mourn you. So, oh, here it is. Today's lesson plan will be covering some of the darker, more mysterious parts of your practice. We will be leaving behind the corporal realm and diving into the Unknown, we will learn the fundamentals and get hands-on experience with shadow work as well as continue our divination training as we explore the ancient art of scrying. In this box, the one in your very hands, there are tools and lessons required to work with the spirit and shadow elements. But only you have the will, wisdom, and magic necessary to do so. So they used the Oxford comma there after wisdom. So I don't know why they didn't use it. Okay, maybe it was just two different um, copy editors, whatever. But be weary. Today's lesson will not be for the faint of heart. No, you will be facing the strongest adversary, yourself. Remember, in doing so, defeat is never a possible outcome, for when we face our shadows, growth is the only option. Prepare yourself, for the time has come to explore the magic of the spirit and shadow. Sincerely, Headmistress of the Occultish Academy of Witchcraft and Magical Studies, P.S., Never forget the shadow is but a reflection of the light. Okay, so the items inside. We have the occultist school candle, organic soy candle. Symbolizes, it doesn't say symbolizes, but it's in blood. Death, rebirth, spirit realm, as above, so below. Hexes, curses, uncrossing, blessing. Uh, void. Can be a lot of things. Crystal scrying ball. 80 millimeter glass ball comes with downloadable scrying lesson. Ooh. Well, I'm going to have to find that. That's cute. Shadow work herb pack. Mug, uh, half an ounce of mugwort and wormwood. Connection with the unconscious and communicating with spirits. Glamour magic black lipstick. Oh, yes, that's what this was. Shadow work black lipstick. Let's give it a go. Ooh, okay. Ooh. It is very liquid. There we go. 
It is very liquid. It covers very well. That's really nice. This is the Heartbreaker. That's the specific color. I am a fan of a good black lipstick. It's very liquid. Um, I don't know if it's going to set or if it's going to be one of those that I'm going to leave on the rim of every glass. 100% vegan, cool, cruelty-free, matte black lipstick, transformation, sigil marking, channel. And just know this is super cute. Assorted Bones, Ethically Sourced, Bobcat Toe. Okay, I guess they're both Bobcat Toe. Which is Ancestral Work, Balance, Solitude, and Spirit Work. The Obsidian Heart Bath Bomb. Black Skull Bath Bomb, 100% Vegan. The Spirit Realm Crystal Pack. Black Rough Tourmaline, that's what it was. Protection and Cleansing. Smoky Quartz Point, Repelling Negative Energy, and the Tumbled Shadow Work Crystals Communication. Spirit and Shadow Lesson, which is an eight-page illustrated book with Spirit and Shadow Work Ritual and Guide. That is here. And I'm not going to read you any of the rituals or things, but I will, like, from a distance, show you. It's really cute. I especially like this little drawing. Um... So, it seems the main focus of this box is for shadow work and inner work. But, that does mean, like, with the use of the bones, you're going to want to pay respects to the spirit of the animals that you're using. You're going to want to use, like, some common sense when using, like, the bones of another animal. And if you are looking inward, there is a chance that you're going to be looking at your own, like, who you are. I mean, that's what it is. You're looking at who you are. Because shadow work, which I have a whole video on what shadow work is, does involve looking at your insecurities and the dark parts that you don't want to acknowledge, that you're repressing. But this doesn't mean that you're not going to look at ancestral work and you're not going to look it doesn't mean you're not going to look at, like, the spirits around you. I was really hoping to be more necromancy-based. I just kind of spontaneously ordered. But with bones, you're still working with necromancy because you're going to be scrying using divination with the, uh, with the bones. And it's kind of cool that it's bobcat. Like, that's neat. Most of the bones that I have were just spontaneously found on a walk. And they're, like, typically roadkill or natural natural uh disease so yeah that's the box i am gonna give the bath bomb a try hopefully it doesn't break me out yeah so it does smudge off but it is cute like i mean as long as i'm not like doing anything crazy it seems like it's still on like it didn't wipe off it just came off on my finger like it's not like gone so i mean that's a plus so I got a really cute lipstick out of it. And I'm always happy to get a skull candle because it's really expensive. And I did buy the molds to make them, but I haven't taken the time to make them. So, like, it's not very helpful right now. All right. And I'm always happy to get a new crystal and a little bag of crystals and rocks and stones. It's going to be nice. I'm so excited. So this is super cute. All right. Um, if you think any of this in this box is cute or spooky or interesting if you bought the box please let me know in the comments down below if you could leave a like and if you would subscribe i will do random unboxings some spooky stuff and i try to have at least two videos a week um all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a wicked evening and i will see you here next time on so stitch hex bye <laughs>